We're a small team building an experimental sculpture for Africa Burn this year. Philosophically, the sculpture draws attention to the relationship between sound frequencies and brain function. It resembles a radio tower, a device used for transmitting specific frequencies. In the Vedas of ancient India, sound vibration is believed to hold the universe together. After an experience I once had in meditation, I was inspired to make sound sculptures that recreate this sound of the cosmic hum. I want to make art which is in tune and in harmony with natural energy and with the human body. I call them elemental instruments because they are sculptures that transfer elemental energy into sound. But the instruments are also tuned to specific frequencies which are psychoacoustic in that they resonate with and amplify the same frequencies that occur in the brain and that produces a calm alert state while at the same time cancelling out stress frequencies that cause anxiety. Psychoacoustic literally means mind is affected by sound and I use this all the time in my hypnotherapy practice to help people develop confidence, motivation and peacefulness. This will be my first Africa burn and I think what I'm really looking forward to most is watching how other artists are playing with that line between experimental technology and art. Uh, there were a number of concepts at the uh, proposal stage that really caught my attention. Things like really big things like desert uh, reclamation by catching water in various different ways. And these are artworks. And so I was really inspired to contribute what I can to the technological discourse that occurs at Africa Burn. I'm not looking to make money off this Africa Burn project, but it is quite technical from the engineering perspective. There's been uh, some research and development, uh, there have been some materials. Uh, so I'd really like to ask you to contribute to our Indiegogo crowdfund that we've set up for the project to make it happen. Uh, research and development started about a year ago. Uh, we started with stack effect, just the natural rising pressure of smoke trying to go through the organ. It needs more pressure. So we tried the turbine, also not so good, too complicated. So now we're with steam, steam pressure. Uh, and so we've got to build that and we've got the logistics of bringing the sculpture to the Tankwa uh, in time for its performance. I think we can do it with your help. We can do it. It's going to perform on the Monday, 24th of April at sunset. It's going to be amazing. If making art, music and helping people could all be the same thing. That would be my life purpose. I see this project as the first step in a journey that explores the interface between technology and art. Uh, in future years I'd like to develop the sculpture into a regas device uh, that produces uh, power for a petrol generator for electricity. Uh, another potential area of development is the steam that we're using to power the organ uh, can have a second function as a grey water purifier so we can be recycling uh, water. So there are a few more steps that this sculpture can take on its journey into the future uh, 2018 and beyond. But this year I'll be happy if people can just experience the sight and sound and transfer of energy which can be a metaphor for so many things. I really appreciate your interest in this project. You are an art patron and art needs you. Thank you.